Greetings, this is Prodril, and welcome back to Let's Play Game of Thrones. Alright, let's resume. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. There we go. What? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you it? kept your word. Of course. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the Wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. Wait! Hmm. What's this? Uh, amulet? Be safe. Multiple characters, maybe. I couldn't find him. Could you? He hides too well, and if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. You found me! Well done, Ryan. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gareth to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Gareth. He was nice. He'll be fine. Gareth is smart. No one will tell me what Garrod did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Roiland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? <laughs> well, Sir Roiland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. <laughs> Sir Roiland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. He doesn't know me, or, or what I'm capable of. What does Miltsop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Roiland teach you how to wield a yep. sword. 
like... like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. <laughs> we had so much fun. But then... Well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious. The Lord in training. And he never smiled anymore. And Asher... Asher just got angry. At everything. Why? Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. It's for you to decide for yourself. I may have to change. I'd rather have my brother than a lord. I'll have to have both, I'm afraid. But since you're the new lord, <laughs> you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If I knew it was that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the Lord. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Mm. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well then. All right. Responsibilities. Isaac. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. What should I say to him? Tell him and his men to leave. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Well, thanks for the advice. You're really helpful. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. Uh, great. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. They're trying to rile me, but it won't work. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. You <laughs> little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord! 
You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries, you cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's <laughs> peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the... Lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of right. honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? <laughs> I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... this is not over! It's over when my son says it is. This is over, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be Lord of this house. But Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven, letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Do as you like, Lord Whitehill. Well, that went really. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the King may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Nice, more characters. I like that. They change the... Uh, characters and you can uh, use multiple ones. Alright, let's see now. Yeah, we read about all this. Uh, I guess you can't see anything about the... White Hills, I don't see anything. Yeah, alright, that's fine. Let's resume then. Alright, what do we have here? Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. 
I guess it's here. I hope to see them all someday. And I also guess she doesn't know they died. Oops. What's with the graphics? Why is there this distortion? It's very weird. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Alright, anything else in here? Let's see. Unfinished letter. Yes, you could read it. Wow. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you. And I look forward to the day you can. Uh, that's it. it was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. I have no idea what the hell that was, whatever. Ethan made this for me. They could make the uh, fonts a bit easier to read. Maybe white Ashes instead of grey. Ashes this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. I guess that's the guy that got exiled. All right. Anything else in here? I guess not this is really annoys me. I think it's the engine though, because uh, everything is on high. Well, as high as you can get it. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. So she does know, I guess. Hmm, that's weird. Let's see then. Who is it? One moment. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Sure, what no, do you want? No, it's fine. Come in. Ah, it's a servant, okay. Begging your pardon, lady, but you are right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm fine, thank you. Of course, milady. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, milady. So, it's not a room where I don't fucking know. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. It's widely known that I work for Lady Marjorie. I've seen you with her before. <laughs> you seem like good friends. Okay. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? Was it weird? They appear to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... Why are you telling me this? I heard them arguing about House Forrester and... House Forrester? I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. 
Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. I'm in good space. Yes, you can hear it. all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. You could say thank you. No, no, okay. Ah, that's a weird. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. We will in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a message if you want to. And I'll see you next time.